Phase 2 of the Addy model is design. Its purpose is to define your storyboarding and the content of training. Using the information gathered in the analysis phase, the instructional designer will use this to design the training. Learner engagement and retention depends on variety. When deciding on the pattern of delivery, mentally storyboarding what the trainer would be doing at each phase was my compass. For independent learners, the accessibility and time constraints were at the forefront of decision making. Consistency was also very important. If someone was completing the training through their phone, they wouldn't want to open multiple applications or websites for each portion if it could be avoided. Storyboarding is the backbone for the design. Understanding what was to be expected from both trainer and learner guided the placement of content and subject matter. Multi-step group engagement gave some hesitation with regards to how it would be received and executed by an inexperienced trainer. In hindsight, it seems to be a bit overcomplicated for the training and would be eliminated in favor of something more simple.